Hi campers, it's Miss Yaz from Camp Quarantine. Um, I hope you're all doing really well today. Today's lesson is inspired by two different things. Um, it's going to be inspired by this book here, Mix It Up, which I'll read after I record this lesson, um, which explores colors and mixing colors and the magic of that. And also by a friend who really inspired me yesterday. Now she posted something on Instagram, um, a lockdown activity that she did with her boys. She basically got them to paint rainbows. And when they finished painting, to the, painting their rainbows, they put it on their windows facing the street so that when people did walk past and they were feeling really down, it was just something they could look up and smile and have a bit of color and light in their life. So what we did today was we used um, watercolor paints, just really cheapo ones from Ikea. They're so good though, the colors are awesome. And we painted rainbows and things, we spoke about things that made us feel happy. So my son did a rainbow and some hearts. I did a sun. I also did my own rainbow. My daughter did butterflies and rainbows. And I also did hearts. Okay, so they're the symbols that we spoke of um, that bring uh, love and light and positive vibes. What would you paint? I would love to see what you paint and you stick up on the window. So feel free to share that with me. All right, so what we're gonna do today for the lesson is you'll need either watercolors or I've got some pastels here, some soft pastels. And if you don't have any of these, here's a life hack, guys, that I stole from um, Instagram and they're all the clever teachers out there is, if you don't have any watercolor, you can actually just use um, water-based markers and put them in water. And what happens is it's just like a watercolor. So hopefully this works. <laughs> Give me a sec. Yeah, acts like a watercolor. The more you put in there, the darker the, the water runs, okay? So what we're gonna do today is look at primary colors. Can you tell me the three primary colors? Can you guess? All right, I'm gonna show you. We've got red, blue, and yellow. Now, we're gonna read a book today called Mix It Up, and it's about color mixing. So you can have a go using watercolors or soft pastels or chalk and experiment with that while you do your rainbows today or your happy images. So have a look at this. If you use um, soft pastels or watercolor, you can just put them side by side and give them a smudge to see what colors you make. Yellow and blue make, kind of looks, I'll mix it in a bit more. It's like a green, can you see that? If we do red and yellow, I might just do a little bit of red and mix it into the yellow. you can get a little bit of orange. Can you see that? And the last one here, do you know what these make? And I actually find this the trickiest color to mix. Uh, if you mix blue and red, you should get purple. Oh, praise be. Ah, looks a bit brown, but it should be purple. You could pick that up on the the light here. Can you see that? The dark purple. Okay, so today it's all about mixing and playing and creating happy images. Um, I hope you enjoy this book by Hervé Tillet. If you are a parent and you do not have this book, it is magic. So get your hands on it somehow, some way. Um, and I hope you enjoy the story. And I'd love to see your positive images. Um, bringing some light while we're all in camp quarantine. All right, everybody, enjoy. Have a great time creating. Bye.